Hi everyone, how you doing? Rodian Builds here, and today I'm going to show you how to build dog tooth into your wall. Particularly looks quite nice in garden walls, but also chimneys, various different applications for it. We're going straight on top of the dental course from last episode, so if you missed that, then there's a link down below to the Brick Lane for Beginners playlist, you can check it out there. With that being said, let's get straight to the video. Well, first thing we need to do is build your wall up to the height that you want to start doing this bit of uh, decorative brickwork. In this case, I'm coming straight off the back of the video we did the previous video. If you haven't seen it, link in the description, go and check it out. It's all about the dental course. So, like I was saying, first thing we need to do is you need to set up your cuts. Now, what I like to do is I like to put a half bat on each end, but we're doing all this dry first. We're not actually laying any bricks yet. So you just set a couple of bricks like so. You can put a queen closer in the end if you want to. You don't have to. I personally prefer it this way, but it's completely up to you. And then from here, essentially what we're going to do, I've already got these cut out, but what we're going to do is we are going to cut our dog toothing. Now, like I say, I've obviously already cut these ready prepared and I will show you now exactly how to get these cut. So as we look down from the top, you can see I've got that on the back. These are cut flush with the back of the brickwork. And on the front, you get the, the what I like to call the pointy bit. <laughs> nice and technical. The, the corner arras of the brick in line with the brick below. And what you also want to do is you want to keep that 10 mil gap for your perps. To get this cut, I always work backwards from the end that doesn't have the cut. So for example, we have it like so. I'll put a full one in this end and I've already dry laid it and worked it out so it comes to the end and that is the cut. Now, to get these angles right, I like to use a roofing square. Now what you do, as you can see here, there's a gap here and not at the top. It's quite difficult doing this with two hands, uh, with one hand. But what you do is you use that square to get the first one in place. Make sure that it's square to the front. And then you get another brick, line it up with the front and also have that 10 mil gap. Now imagine that these go on out the back, these are full bricks. And again, you make sure that is 45 degrees with your roofing square. As you can tell, I've got this one from B&Q. This is not promotion at all whatsoever. But as always, I will leave links for the tools down in the description. So go and check those out if you want. Now that will give you that 10 mil gap and that also has your Aris in line with the brick below. Now, what you do, imagine that this is a full brick. In fact, I will do it with a full brick. Now imagine I just done that routine with that uh, that square in here and this is all um, nice and squared up and 45 degrees. Now I can't do this with one hand because what you do is you take a pencil and you would mark a line along the back in line with the brickwork below. So you would get a cut that looks like that. But like I say, I can't do that now because I haven't got enough hands, but hopefully that would give you how to, um, the direction of how to do it. And once you have a couple of them done, what you can do is say we're at this position here, we have got two cuts in here. You can make a template that is not right. You can see there's a, a little gap there. So it's a little bit of faffing about, but once you get it, you can make a template here, 45, 40, uh, 45 degree sort of, square there and you could run that all the way along there and that would get you exactly the same all the way through. I've done it just with the roofing square and I find that nice and easy way of doing it so you don't have to actually make a cut. So hopefully that has explained how you cut the cuts and I always like to dry lay them all the way through just so I know that they fit in perfectly. So I'll come back to you once I put all these in place and show you what it looks like dry laid. So here we go this is what it looks like dry laid out ready to go. Obviously, I like to go along and just double check that they all are that 45 degree angle with a nice, with either, like I say, either a roofing square or you can cut out a template and just plonk it in and go along. Now from here, I'll take a pencil and I will mark all of these before I start laying so that we know where we're going. And again, as you go along, as you lay them, I would suggest also using either your roofing square or your template that you have to make sure that you keep that at 45 degrees all the way along. So what I'm gonna do is I'll sit you guys up and I'll start laying these. I'll put the two ends in first, and then I'll come back to you and show you the string line. You'll set the string line up as you would do normally and lay through with this, this corner 
matching up with all of the string lines so you get it nice and straight and perfect. But I'll just get set up and then uh, come back to you. So I've set up a pair of lines, going all the way through here, put a brick on top just to hold that down because this is still very green. I would advise leaving this a little bit longer than I have, I've left it about 10 minutes. Uh, leave it a little bit longer to go off and then like I say, set up some lines. I have dry laid these bricks again because I forgot to mark the pencil line out so I've just gone through and marked out, drawn all around these to mark them out so we've got some lines to follow. And we're going to go through there, we're going to use the build a square to just make sure this is all square as we go through. Now when you lay these to the line, it's essentially all you need to do is marry this corner here up with the line as if you were laying bricks normally. So that just a Rizzler paper width away from the line and you should be pretty good to go. As long as you follow the lines that you've marked down here and follow the line, you're gonna, you're gonna be good. So let's get laying, lay a few uh, dog tubing. So once you finish laying to a line, you want to infill these sections here. The best way to do it is you're going to want to put a bit of flaunching in there so that any water that does get in there will be driven out to the outside. You don't want it going through to the inside. So basically just put a little bit of flaunching in, higher to the back and roll it out to the front. Get your pointing trail. Just go through something like that before you put the top brick on. You can have these dog tubing course stick out, like the denture course below, the dentil course below, sorry. I always call it a denture course. You can have these protruding like these, but in this case, I'm not having it protruding, but just because of the plan I have for this little build going forward. So you probably wouldn't need as much benching. But you want it something like that, so if any water does get in there, it just rolls out. So that's, that's the idea of that. And then you just go around and just point it all up nicely, which is what I'm going to do right now. And look, I made a mess of that. Right, let me point this and I'll come back to you and we'll put that top course on. Right, and once you've done your bit of pointing, just give it a little brush off. This is probably a touch wet to brush really, but unfortunately I don't have the luxury of time at the moment, so I'll do the best I can. I will probably come back and brush this off tomorrow. But yeah, give it a nice brush off. You want to try and brush. No, that's miles too wet to brush that. So I'll let that go off a little bit and give it a little brush over. Because like I say, I am going to be using this uh, in a future video, this little uh, setup. So yeah, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put one core straight through the top just to seal that in nicely. So what I'll do is I'll just put one brick on the end here. Now the reason I say to point up before we do this is because once you've done this, put this top brick on, it's going to be quite awkward to get in these little holes to um, point up. So pretty simple, do it beforehand. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just time lapse this and I'll come back to you once it's done. There we go guys, that is dog tubing. I think it comes up really nice looking on a garden wall or in this particular way like here, we got the dental course from last episode and then straight on top of that, I think it comes up really nice. Like I say in the video, you can have these protruding, they don't have to be built in like this, you can have them protruding like the dental, protruding like the dental course. Personally, 
I prefer them like this, but as with a lot of brickwork, it's personal preference. So have a go yourself. Tag me over on Instagram on any builds you do. Rodian underscore builds over on Instagram. That'd be fantastic to see some of your work. We've got quite a good build coming that we're gonna be doing on top of this, so stick around for that. Please do leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Remember, Brickslade wages paid, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So take care. See you then. Ta-ra.